Hi and how are you all doing today? The question says a factory owner wants to produce two types of machines A and B for his factory. The machine A requires an area of 1000 meters square and 12 skilled men for running it and its daily output is 50 units. Whereas the machine B requires 1200 meter square area and 8 skilled men and its daily output is 40 units. If an area of 7600 meter square and 72 skilled men be available to operate the machines, how many machines of each type should be bought to maximize the daily output? So let's proceed with the solution. Let X and Y be the number of machines of type A and B to be installed in the factory. Right. Now here we need to maximize our output. Let it be Z. So we need to maximize Z and that is output that is by machine A X that is 50 and type B of machine Y that is gives us 40 of output daily. But it, uh, they are subjected to some constraint. The area required by type A is 1000 meter square and by type B is 1200. And it should be less than equal to 7600, which is available to us. Further, 12 skilled men in type A and 8 skilled men in type B and should be less than equal to 72. Also, X and Y both should be greater than equal to 0. That means we will be dealing with the first quadrant itself. Now, let us rewrite this inequality into an equation which will be now 5x plus 6y equal to 38. This is the equation corresponding to this inequality. And here an equation corresponding to this inequality is 3x plus 2y is equal to 18. Right. Now let us find out two points. with the help of which we will be plotting the graph. Now here, when x is 0, then y is 38 by 6. And when y is 0, then x is 38 by 5. Whereas here, when x is 0, then y is 9. And when y is 0, then x is 6. We need to plot these points on the graph and obtain the line representing these two equations. Now, after plotting the points on the graph, we get the required region and these are the end points of this feasible region. That is O, P, Q and R. The respective coordinates of these points are 00, 60, 43 and 0, 38 by 6. Now we will be finding out the output at all these four points 
and it will be maximum at the point whose net value of z is greatest. So, let us find out the maximum value of z. So, for finding maximum value of z, we need to find out the value of z in point 0 first, sorry, O first. It is z is equal to 50 into 0 plus 40 into 0, giving us the value of z as 0. Now, at point P, its coordinates are 6, 0. We have 15 to 6 plus 40 into 0. That gives us the value of Z as 300. Then at Q, its coordinates are 4 and 3. We have 50 into 4 plus 40 into 3, giving us the answer as rupees, sorry, as 320. That is our output. And lastly at R, now the coordinates are 0, comma 38 by 6. Z is equal to 50 into 0 plus 40 into 38 by 6, giving us the answer as 253.3. Hence, we can see that the maximum value of Z, that is the maximum output, is when Z is equal to 320. That is at point Q, whose coordinates are 4 and 3, and machines of type A will be equal to X, that is equal to 4, and type B will be equal to Y and that is 3 should be purchased. Right. So this completes the session. Hope you understood the question well. And do plot your points carefully and draw the diagram neat. Have a nice day ahead.